Hey everybody, Steve here with Steve's Tech Stuff. Today we're diving into the world of CRM systems and setting up Monica. Monica CRM is a fantastic tool for personal relationship management. And today I'll guide you step-by-step -step on how to get it up and running smoothly. First, we're gonna install the Monica Docker container and then we'll install the Nginx container. We'll do this all using Portainer. Afterwards, we're gonna set up an Nginx proxy host to access the Monica CRM. It's pretty straightforward, so let's get to it. First, copy the Monica Docker Compose file from the description below and paste it into Notepad. We need to make a few modifications to the config before we launch our containers. First, we need to add an app key. This is the key used for encryption. It has to be exactly 32 characters long. And we're going to use a password generator to create this. Go ahead and open up your browser. We're just going to Google search password generator. And we're gonna select the second one here for Norton. The main thing, the hashtags can't be used in the encryption key. It will cause issues. So you can either uncheck the box here for punctuations or just ensure you don't have any hashtags in the password and then crank the slider up to 32 characters. And then again, make sure you don't have any hashtags in the password. Then go ahead and copy this and then back over to our config. And we can paste that in for the app key. Next thing we need to modify will be the database password, which is right here. And we also have to update it for the database container as well, which is right here. We can do this by either using the replace feature or you can just update the two spots here. And then the last thing we need is the URL we will be using. So we can head over to duckdns.org. and go ahead and get logged in. And we can see here that I already have one called PRM Monica. So that would just be prmmonica.duckdns.org. Back to our Docker Compose config. And then make sure this stays HTTPS. And then it was prmmonica.duckdns.org. And we should be good to go with the URL. The last thing you might need to update is the port. Otherwise, this config should be ready. Go ahead and copy this and we can head over to Portainer. And go ahead and select your environment here. I'm going to go to stacks on the left. I'm going to add a stack and give it a name. We'll give it, call it Monica. And paste in your config and go ahead and click on deploy the stack at the bottom. Once this is done, we can head over to containers on the left and we can see our containers are running. It will take a minute for the database to settle down. And if you try and access Monica right now, you're gonna get an SSL error. We need to set up Nginx with SSL now to finish this up. Before Nginx will work, you must forward ports 80 and 443 in your router or your firewall to the box that's running your Nginx container. This process is different depending on the hardware manufacturer, so just see your router or firewall manual for more information on this process. So back down in the description below, there's the Nginx Docker Compose config. Go ahead and copy that. And we can head back over to Portainer. Back over to Stacks. I'm gonna add a stack. Give this one a name, Nginx, and paste in the config. Shouldn't need to change anything other than maybe the ports, which I would not recommend. And then go ahead and click on deploy stack at the bottom. Once the Nginx container is up and running, let's go back to containers on the left and we can go into port 81 on our proxy manager. And the first login here is just admin at example.com. And the password is just change me. And at the first login, you have to update this. And the password, it's a minimum of eight characters. Now let's create our proxy. Go to hosts at the top, proxy hosts, and we're gonna add a proxy host. Domain name is gonna be the domain I created earlier, which was prmmonica.duckdns.org add that 
We're going to leave the scheme on just HTTP. The forwarding host name will be the IP address of the server running Monica. And then the port it was running on was 8080. We can enable these options here. Before we click save, go to the SSL tab here at the top. And where it says none on their SSL certificate, select that and request a new SSL certificate. And we're going to enable all of the options except DNS challenge. We're going to agree to the terms and you're going to hit save. This will take just a second. Now we can see that our proxy host is online and it's using our SSL certificate and clicking on the domain here should take you to Monica. And here we are. And go ahead and add your first account. And here we are, we're in. Everything should be up and running. You can go in the settings here and update all of your settings and start using Monica. To keep track of all of your relationships. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching.